winning an award at the National Fish and Chip Awards can gather national attention. This uh, chip shop in Bryn, the Shetland Islands, has been crowned the best independent takeaway for fish and chips. This year, the finalists in the flagship Independent Takeaway Fish and Chip Shop Award category will be hoping to enjoy the same success that Frankie's Fish and Chips of Bray and Shetland did last year. Yet competition is as fierce as ever, and all of the finalist shops will have to make it past the judges before they can reap the rewards of winning. It's a fantastic achievement to win your region. The shop that wins it is in heaven. Uh, not only it's the increased turnover, but they'll be recognised by the rest of the industry that they are the top shop. While every year it gets a bit harder for the judges because we have to reflect all the new legislation that's imposed upon the trade. We look at every aspect of the business plus the food itself. And unbeknownst to the finalists, they've been tested on more than just their fish and chips. We sent some mystery shoppers to each location just to check what the service is like when nobody's looking. Hiya. Can I get some fish and chips please? You certainly can. Come to the right place. I've <laughs> uh, got lovely pine fillets and cod just come up. Always a favourite in the South Face. I would have started judging when I entered the premises. Was I acknowledged as a customer when I walked in? Uh, how did the staff react to me when I gave my order? How was I served? How was my food presented to me? I'm looking to see, is my fish and chips well presented? Is it hot? Is it thoroughly cooked? Does it taste great? The process begins with the fish and chip shop submitting an entry form. This includes all of their details and a profile of their shop. The first stage of judging whittles entries down to an initial top 60 across 10 different geographical regions of the UK. And after mystery judging visits to all 60 shops, the participants are further whittled down to a top 20. After that, the remaining shops face an in-depth and detailed judging inspection of their premises, and the list is pared down to just 10 shops, each of whom is regarded as a regional winner. Being a South West uh, regional winner uh, for our shop has, has been brilliant. Our customers love it. The, the staff here are so impressed and, and they're proud to be, be part of it. Um, and, and, and the sales have just, have just shot up. It's, it's been absolutely fantastic for our business. It's raised the profile of our shop, but more importantly, it's raised the profile of fish and chips for the industry. Uh, I can't describe it really, it was, it was my goal since I started doing fish and chips for the last six years is really wanted to win Wales. Uh, so when I had the phone call or on the day when they turned up, that was the best feeling as a business, you know. So I've had four kids and it's almost as good as that feeling. We're all winners at the end of the day. To get this far in this competition with the standards that are out there, that's fantastic. The stuff that the awards do for us is incredible. The amount of um, press that we have from all of that sort of stuff really works really well for us, doesn't it? All definitely, the, yeah, it definitely gets more customers it, through the door. Uh, straight that. away, yeah. As soon as you can hit anything nationally, it makes so much of a big difference. Getting involved with Sea Fish and with the National Fish and Chip Awards has just given me a new, uh, you know, new life for the industry. And from, I suppose, September of 2014, I learned so much being involved with the um, National Federation of Fish Friars and the Seafish. The judges of the National Fish and Chip Awards seek to find the best fish and chip shop in the country, but they also aim to help promote the wider seafood industry as well. Well, it's a measure of success. We have to have a bar where everybody's going to aim for it. And I think the Fish and Chip of the Year competitions are that bar.